Okay, the question quite clear cut. They already tell you is about what? A, how fast or how slow a gas diffuse, right? You use an apparatus like this. Okay, all right, what is the apparatus? I wasn't ever used before. So uh, they say there is a gas over here, all right? And then they say these are all the different gases they play with, right? Helium, neon, what is this? Chlorine, nitrogen. And this is a time taken if you use a stopwatch and measure that it diffuse across. How it works, I also don't care. Make sense? All right. So, on here, let me get smaller. Okay, the time taken for 200 cmq of different gases to diffuse through the diffusion plug that you can measure is listed in the table above. What is the value of x and y in C, x, h, y over here? This is the, what they're asking, right? What is the value C, x, h, y? So first of all, all right, uh, we are very clear starting with the end in mind, right? Start with the end in mind that they want me to find X and Y, which means I need to take a look at this. Agree? About what? They give you the time. I am definitely here. Sense? Okay. Then how should we move from here? Or which one? Who? Chlorine? Chlorine? You will touch chlorine? I won't touch chlorine. Nitrogen. Why nitrogen? Because, take a look, they diffuse with the same time. Can you see or not? So, there is a similarity between these that you want to solve and nitrogen. They diffuse with the same time, which also means it takes the same time for the diffusion to occur, right? It takes the same time. And therefore, it diffuses at the same rate, which also means what? They must have the same molecular gas. Done with it. I don't know what CXH why. That's why they asked me to solve my, but I know nitrogen very well, isn't it? Nitrogen exists as N2. So I can calculate its mass. MR, meaning relative molecular mass of M2, is 2 times 14. Just how I calculated this, right? In the previous question, 28. Okay. And then so I also know very sure that this CFHY that they want me to solve, the MR is also 20. Yeah. 24 of them, you just plug the value in and calculate on this calculator. Makes sense to you, my friend. Okay, easier. Makes sense. The concept they are testing you here is what? All right. The diffusion of a gas is dependent on the molecular mass of the gas. Okay? If they diffuse at the same rate, so the mass must also be the same. That's what we're doing. Okay? All right. So here we go. CXHY 28. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this up and find out which one is 28. All right. So here we go. Someone very good in mathematics one. I don't think that fast anymore. Already. All right. Okay. Come. Okay, using CXHY, pump me in. First one, what is the uh, mass? A is what? So it's CH4, right? So CH4 is the formula. Everyone okay? All right, so this is uh, 12 plus oh, 16. Uh. Let's do it this way, okay? Pump me. So this is then CH6, which is 18. This is C2H4. Uh, sorry. 28. Ooh, seems the like answer is C. Let's carry on with the next one. C3H6. Exit reading. Huh? 32. 42. Okay. So wrong, wrong, wrong. C is correct. If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. 
If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.